Ronaldo, what did you just upload? A photo? I mean, technically, you're right, but... Is that... I can't tell what that is. How did you even manage? You're, you're literally taking a picture with your eyes, Melville. I, I don't even know how to make my eyes go out of focus. Clearly, you've never listened to one of Herman's speeches. Some of us are busy doing actual science, not just sightseeing. Thank you.
What can I do for you? I think the only reason to build a lab in so remote a location is because you're trying to hide what you're doing. Or because what you're doing is dangerous. Puzzles, or uh, trials, as Elohim calls them, were used as part of the process that created the Founder, and they're still part of how we're born. They symbolize the human ability to understand the world and solve problems. But nowadays, they don't have a practical application. Uh, they are a common motif in the arts, though. The only physically existing puzzles I can think of are in the Museum of the Simulation. So, to answer your question, no idea. To me, it means accepting a certain amount of humility. Our ancestors thought they could master the world with no regard for any other organisms. They failed to see themselves as part of a greater whole. I think the Founder realized where they went wrong and tried to offer us a different path. A path where we have a place in this world, but the world is not ours. Me? Well, uh, I was born when New Jerusalem was a lot smaller than it is now. And there was a lot of work to do. I wasn't really interested in technical stuff, engineering and so on, but I was good at keeping things organized. So I got involved with the administration side of things, uh, making sure the scavenging teams focused on the right materials, uh, keeping track of our energy usage, that sort of thing. I think we've accomplished what the Founder wanted us to, and I'm proud that I helped make that happen. Byron doesn't see it that way, obviously, but I think sometimes he gets so lost in his dreams that he forgets to look at the real world. Of course, my best friend, in fact, and someone I've worked with hundreds of times over the centuries. A good person who cares about the world and the people in it. I just also think he's wrong about everything and extremely annoying. Oh, he does. He absolutely does. I don't know. It's obviously impressive, but I think we should be very careful. We're dealing with powers we don't really understand.
it's strange that some of these puzzles seem disconnected from the rest. Like it's all unfinished. Or still evolving. <laughs>